All right. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to give uh, some people a chance to jump on and um, tune in. Uh, so it looks like we've got quite a few people watching. Good morning. Let me remove the slides for a second so I can go full screen and say hello to everyone jumping in. Uh, do me a favor. We've had uh, quite a few people register, and I know there's about six right now that are coming in. Uh, if you're tuning in, just uh, let me know who you are. Put your name and where you're from in the chat or in the comments there. I want to see, this is the first time I've done a StreamYard webinar, so I want to see how they come in and how we, we see them in the studio. So give everybody a second. Hopefully they come in when you guys do that. If not, I can't see comments. Oh, there we go. Tom Palera, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Rico, good to see you, buddy. I can't wait to come down and talk to your group in Charlotte in a couple months. Super excited. It's always good to see you. Awesome. Well, if you're jumping on, you've got more people jumping on right now. So if you're just tuning in, we're about to do our AI webinar, Learn How to Use AI in Your Business. I'm going to show you uh, some cool... Oh, wow. Awesome. Ming from Singapore staying awake for me. That's huge. I love it. Rico, yes. Ditto. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. this we can also do this. Heather, if we get a good, cool comment... Uh, Heather's backstage helping me right now. So if I say Heather and just call out some random person, uh, Heather can uh, can put these comments up on the screen. And uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Chuck Kirby, good morning. This is awesome. I, I'm so excited to um, talk to you guys about this. Uh, we've been building out our Journey Builder software for a, a, over a year and a half now. We've been customizing it for people. And um uh, AI has just kind of taken over, right? AI is everywhere. We're hearing about it everywhere we go. And we, we dove in our, our whole team got certified as AI consultants, AI persona building consultants. Um, we've, uh, we've really just, we're, we're, we're learning more about it. We're using it. We're implementing it in our business. Eric Neller. Good morning. Good morning. I love it. Hey, from Sarasota. It's awesome. Heather, thank you for the comments. Also putting those up for me. Um, and um, we have found some really cool tools and we've found ways to make these AI tools work with our software. But also, even if you don't use our software, work within our business uh, or work within your business. So I'm going to be spotlighting a lot about how to use AI in your business today. I'm going to show you and demo several tools. Really excited. So I think we're going to go ahead and, and just get started because we're three minutes after and out of respect for everyone's time, uh, I'm going to go ahead. But if you do jump in or you have comments or questions, just throw them in the chat uh, throughout. I may not get to them immediately. Uh, yes, Eric, this is going to be recorded. Uh, we're live right now. We're obviously we're, we're live right now, but this is also being recorded. So, uh, and it will stay online. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started, but feel free to post questions or comments in the comment box at any time or, or in the comments, if you're watching this on social media, it'll, they'll all come in here. So that being said, I'm going to make myself real small and off to the left. And here's what we're talking about, how to automate almost everything in your business using AI, artificial intelligence, and one revolutionary piece of software. We're biased. We call it the revolutionary piece of software because it is our journey builder tool, which I'll tell you more about as we go through. This is not going to be a sales pitch. I just want to show you the tools that we're using, tell you how you can get them. I am going to put some affiliate links for each tool, three out of the four tools. Um, I'll share a link with you how to get started with it. Um, and, uh, would, you know, since this webinar is free and I want to deliver value, if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these tools for yourself, uh, today, I would just appreciate you use the affiliate link. It just gives me something, something small on the back end, And, and, uh, if you get a paid plan, so, uh, but I'm not, I'm not here to sell you anything today. There's not going to be a pitch at the end. I, I will be fully transparent. Um, but I am going to talk about our, our tools as well as a few other people's tools. So, Let's get going. Well, there's a few people that chimed in um, that I do know 
So I don't really uh, need to, uh, you guys can go get another cup of coffee right now for, for 30 seconds or uh, go to the bathroom real quick while I introduce myself. There are uh, several people here who don't know who I am and I'm going to keep it real quick because really you're not here to learn about who I am. But uh, I am Jay Vix. I run an agency, a digital marketing agency. Uh, it's been called JVI Mobile Marketing for the last 12 years, but we are repositioning and rebranding it just as Journey Builder. Uh, which is a SaaS product. Uh, and, uh, and we're going to talk about different AI tools that you can use in your business. I've been in this game now for 12 years, uh, live in Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, have an office downtown and, uh, and just love what I do, love helping, love serving, love delivering value in advanced content. So this entire webinar, um, I'm packing it full of content, show you guys tools, show you guys a way that today, right now, today, at the end of this webinar, by the end of the webinar, you'll be able to go out and utilize AI in your business. I'm literally going to show you how to how to do it and give you step-by-steps to do it. So hopefully by the time five minutes after this webinar is over, you will have used AI in your business. That's my goal. All right. And that's my promise to you. So first of all, we're going to talk about a few things here. We're going to give you a quick intro of AI in your business, then show you some tools, and then we're going to show you our tool and how we streamline uh, business processes using AI. So what is it, right? Everybody, what is it? I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. We're all hearing lots about it. Artificial intelligence is what AI is. It's, it's a machine learning program based on you can feed it a prompt, and based on all the information it has, it's going to give you the answer, but it's going to give it to you in a very conversational way. You can you can also tell it to act as a certain type of person or type of role, and it will it will respond in that way. So we can't go too deep into the nuances because, truthfully, I don't even understand all of the back end stuff that goes into it. Mo more importantly, we need to learn you know, how to use it in our business. And it's so dead simple, guys. It's really, really simple. Um, if you know how to feed it the right input, you'll get the right output. And it's a lot like anything else, right? Garbage in, garbage out. You put good stuff in, you get good stuff back. It's like going to the gym, right? We know if we put good stuff in our body, we eat right, we exercise, we work out, good results are going to come. We don't take care of ourselves. We eat a bunch of garbage we're going to feel like garbage, probably look like garbage um, and uh, and not be good. So it's just like anything else in life, right? So it is really important for you guys to, to know how to use AI because chances are your competitors are already using it. Or if they're not, we're still on the infancy stages. You can actually get out in front of your competitors in business. So, all right. So, if you guys have any questions as we go through, like I said, feel free to put them in the comments. Uh, we're going to be talking about four tools today, uh, four tools and one piece of uh, one additional piece of software that's Journey Builder. Um, but uh, the four tools that I'm going to dive into are Formwise, Content at Scale, HeyGen, and ChatGPT. Um, Heather, if you can go ahead now, I'll probably have you put them in a couple times, but if you can put the, the Formwise link in and just identify that it's Formwise, Content at Scale, hey Jen, each of those links in. We'll give you those links now. Not that I want you to go over to those sites and get distracted and not pay attention to me, but we do want to share these links with you at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of this. So Heather should be putting those links in as I keep talking. Um, and you can go over and register for an account if you see something that you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. But don't get shiny object syndrome and just buy it all because you may not need these in there. So there you go. Heather's dropping form-wise in there uh, right now and um, I'll keep going. And then uh, Journey Builder, which is our piece of software, uh, that's th this tool, Journey Builder, is an all-in-one customer relationship management system. It's a CRM. You might have heard that that term. It's a place for you to keep all of your contacts, um, all of your conversations with your contacts, all in one place, right? But it does so much more than that, guys. Booking calendar, right? 
you see all these people here, you should use my booking link, right? It's got a booking calendar built right in. Calendar system syncs with your Google calendar. It's got all the all the tools that you would find with like Calendly or Book Like a Boss or any of those. It's got all that in there. Email marketing, text marketing, website builder. You can build websites and landing pages right inside here. So you don't need that separate tool anymore. Phone system. You can replace your phone system or give your business a professional sounding phone system right inside a journey builder. Um, there's about a million other things it does. You can have tracking phone numbers, track sales. You can you can sell easy e-commerce built in. You got a couple of products, put your products in there, sell them right through Journey Builder. Keep track of all your sales. Um, sync with QuickBooks. Journey Builder does it all. I'm not I'm not going into any more uh, deeper on that. But what I do want to just share is that we have found ways that we can utilize all these artificial intelligence tools into Journey Builder to help us produce content uh, a lot faster and more efficiently, as well as helping our clients do the same thing. So uh, thanks, Heather, for the links, by the way. Uh, so Journey Builder is a revolutionary tool, very, very cool tool. Uh, you can learn more about it right now by going to getjourneybuilder.com, but I don't want you to do that. So don't go there, Heather, don't put that link in there. All right, we're going to keep going. Ask me after and I'll tell you how to learn more about Journey Builder. If you want to set up a time so I can demo it for you, I'd be happy to. There was my sales pitch, the only sales pitch I told you. I didn't even tell you how much it was. All right. So about a year, a little more than a year ago, about 15 months ago, I started playing probably when everybody else did or when a lot of people did or when you started seeing it on the news. I started playing with chat GPT right? Uh, which was the first, it wasn't the first day. I Actually, I got to go back about two and a half years because, and Heather would know this, we, we were using a tool called Jasper. Um, and we were using it to create some AI content before we were actually using ChatGPT itself. But ChatGPT, GPT-4 came out about a year ago and we started using it. And then all these other tools just started popping up and, you know, everything's gone crazy. So we quickly found out, like, how can we use this not to replace humans, but how do we make, how do we do our jobs faster, better, more effectively, more efficiently utilizing this technology, right? It wasn't to put anybody out of work. As a matter of fact, Heather on my team, who's backstage here uh, running this with me, she's a brilliant copywriter and content manager. She's been with me for almost five years, which is just crazy, mind blowing to me. Um, and obviously we can use AI to write copy, right? We can have it generate content or images or all these other things. But we took that as a way to make Heather more powerful than she already was on her own. Now she doesn't ever stare at a blank screen. We can use AI to get a head start, to get a rough draft, to get ideas, um, to learn more, to find information, uh, to look at things from different angles or viewpoints, right? And then how do we compile that? And then now there's certain tools that we can do it. So um, speed, getting things done a lot faster, more effectively, more efficiently. These are some some ways that, that uh, are some things that, that we were dealing with that, and now these tools have helped us just obliterate these problems. And we're, we're faster and more efficient than we've ever been. All right. Let's talk about some tools. Let's go right into it and show you some demonstrations. I want to take you into each tool today that I use, and I want to do a demo. I want to show you how we use them or how they can be used in your business. Uh, we're going to start with FormWise, uh, which is you can actually, I'll show you in a minute, you can create a form for somebody to fill out or for yourself. You create a form, you enter in, answer some questions on a form, and behind the scenes, it actually does the prompting of the GPT. So you just fill out a simple form and then boom, you get AI generated content for you. You don't have to even write the prompt, right? Uh, content at scale, we're going to talk about that. Short form, long form content, uh, blogs, articles. We wrote like, a, I don't know how many pages, Heather, put in the comments, how many pages was the ebook we just did? Was it like 30 or 40 or 50? I don't even remember. We just did a, we wrote an entire ebook that we, we utilized uh, AI to help us write 62 page ebook, right? To, if we had to write a 62 page book, it would take us like months and months and months and months and months, right? I think the overall 
like production time to get the articles was like 20 minutes. And then the rest of the time that it took, which was hours, several hours, it's still 62 pages, wasn't done in 20 minutes, but like the generating time of that. And then it probably took us maybe 40 hours to write a 62 page book. Probably could have done in, in one week if we had just spent eight hours a day. Might have even done it in two or three days. I don't know. But it was a lot, a lot of time saved. Hey, Jen is wild. If you guys have been following me for a while, it's the next tool that I'll talk about. I'm going to go into all of them. So, so don't worry. I'm not skipping through here. Uh, hey, Jen, I was able to record myself sitting here speaking on video, give it to Hey, Jen. And now all I have to do is upload some text and it'll it'll make me say whatever I put in there. Kind of scary. Really fun. All right. Uh, I can't wait to demo that and show you what I've done in Hey Jen. If you've gotten some of my emails, you'll see there was one that was like, hey, this is me talking, but it's really not me talking. Um, and then last, I'm going to, uh, I'm saving it for last, but it really is kind of the the OG here, ChatGPT, um, OpenAI technology. Uh, there's You can use it for free and you can go play around with it. Uh, ChatGPT is kind of like the the mothership, so to speak, of, of where this all comes from. So, all right, here we go. Let's have some fun. Form-wise, now I have to figure out, I think I can share. Let's see if I can share my screen. And let's see what happens when I do this. Share screen, form-wise. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me get out of this page. I don't know how big it is on your computer and if you guys can see it well, but here I'm going back to Formwise. So Formwise is a really, really cool tool. Here are some things that we have either built or it, it comes with the program, with the paid program. I'm just gonna scroll down. There are a ton, Facebook captions, hashtag generator, tweet generator. You could have it write your LinkedIn bio. Uh, get business ideas. We can have it generate rap song lyrics for any business. If you want to be like, describe my company products and services in a rap, right? It'll give you rap lyrics, right? Um, recipe and wine recommendations, credit repair disputer. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to cal calorie tracker quiz, workout plans, marketing strategies, customer avatars, quizzes, children's books, all of it. It's all in here, right? And, and the tools are already written. So let's just try one of these tools uh, right now. I'm going to give you guys a link to, to do a tool on your own at the end of this. So don't, like I said, don't, don't leave me and, and start playing yet. Um, I know it's, I know you want to, I, I know the feeling of wanting to go and, and play, but just, just hang out for a little bit and let's do, I think I saw one I wanted to do. Let's do, I'll show you how this works. Let's do a LinkedIn bio. All right. So what we do in here uh, is we come in and we build the form. What is your job title? Who do you help, right? These are the two questions. And then on the back end, this is if you want to use it for yourself. On the back end, you have the prompts that you want to ask ChatGPT. So I could go in here and I could say, please generate a LinkedIn short bio for my LinkedIn profile. My job title was the answer to the first question. This is who I help was the answer to the second question. And then uh, it will create the, the short bio. And then it will also give us, based on my LinkedIn bio below, please give me a LinkedIn status update on how I serve my clients and use the first prompt. So we're stacking prompts. Like we have a prompt and then we're stacking another prompt and I'm going to show you the output. So it's very easy to build this. It's very drag and drop. It's very simple. If I go to the form, I can, I can add uh, user input, right? And I can add an, a question, multiple choice. I can get data sources. I can get numbers, dates, all that. Uh, let me actually take this one out though, because I didn't want that in there. All right. So I'm going to just show you guys what this looks like here. And then all you would need to do is send somebody or embed this form on your website if you wanted to give this away or, or have somebody generate if you're working with clients or for yourself, all you have to do is fill this in. So I'm going to do a uh, job title. Let's pick a good one. Somebody throw a job title into the chat. Give me a job title. I'm going to take the first one I see.
Do, 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 do. Nobody wants to put a job title in here. I'm going to have to pick my own. Somebody? Five seconds. 11, 11 people tuned in. There we go. CFO. CFO. Job title is a chief. Thanks, Tom. Uh, financial officer. And I'll put CFO. Okay. Who do we help? We help. Okay. So. I help uh, mid-size uh, businesses, chief fun officer. I like that, Tom. That's even better. Chief fun officer. Love that. That's what you call yourself with uh, all the vacations you help people with. Um I help mid-size businesses. Perfect, Chuck. HR manager. We could we could look at that too. I help mid-size businesses take control of their finances um uh let's see um create and set budgets that allow companies to scale rapidly so they can have an eventual exit. Okay, so just basic. Who do we help as a CFO? This might be something we would do. I'm going to submit this. Click the submit button. So all I had to do is put that in. I didn't have to write a prompt. I didn't have to go to chat GPT. I didn't have to go anywhere. Click submit. It's going to gather our answers here. Okay, here's our bio. As a chief financial officer, I specialize in helping mid-sized businesses take control of their finances, develop strategic budgets, and streamline operations for rapid growth and successful exits. With a proven track record of financial expertise, I empower organizations to achieve their financial goals and drive sustained success in competitive markets. Let's connect and explore how I can help your business thrive. Hashtag CFO, hashtag financial expert, hashtag business growth, hashtag strategic budgeting, hashtag exit strategy. That's awesome. Right. Not only that, we stacked the prompt on on top of that to make your first post on LinkedIn. Excited to partner with mid-sized businesses to help them take control of their finances, develop strategic budgets and streamline operations for rapid growth and successful exits, empowering organizations to achieve their financial goals and drive sustained success in competitive markets. Let's connect and explore how I can help your business thrive. Puts those hashtags in, puts emojis in. Right. We didn't have to go create that post. It's pretty good. There's some tweaks I would make to it. Um, but that's, how easy was that? I answered two questions and the AI did everything on the back end and gave me what I could do. I can click copy and I can go over to LinkedIn and I can make this my bio and I could tweak it or edit it however I wanted. Pretty cool, right? I think so anyway. But But yeah, I gave you, there's like hundreds of examples. And if anybody um, wants to be able to use FormWise without having to buy a FormWise account, but not really build their own forms, but just get the tools that I have, I offer them uh, as part of Journey Builder. So what we've been able to do is utilize this to do social media posts um, for all the networks, all the platforms, right? We can create social posts. Um, we've been able to create like virtual employees. We call them like AI personas for different roles. And then we can figure out um, like just we can give them like tasks to do. Right. So we can we can say I'm trying to think of a good example. We could we could say as our uh, as our as our copywriter, I want you to write a seven e email sequence. Right. Um, we'll show you, actually, I'll show you this later when we go to chat GPT, but we can, we can, we can utilize this and these tools right inside of our software and you can use them too, if you want a FormWise account, but FormWise is like a really awesome way. If you think that building is a little bit intimidating, like if I come back over here and I show you the form again, and then the prompts, if that's intimidating to you, then yeah, you, you probably, well, either you can learn it. It's very simple to learn. They have great support. Or you can um, 
uh, you can talk to me after this webinar and I'll show you how we can give you all these tools uh, inside our software. But I definitely think, you know, going to FormWise and checking it out, if, if this looks like creating tools either for your customers or clients, you could do that as well, right? So if you have a client and, and you need uh, content or other things generated for them, you can do that. Uh, so that is FormWise. Any, well, if you have questions on FormWise, yeah, and Heather, thanks for putting in the link uh, in the chat. The, the link there is to go uh, after this and, um, or maybe just open it now and keep it as an open tab for later. Uh, we'll put it back in the comments again later uh, and go ahead and, um, and give it a shot. Try it out. No commitments, no long-term commitments. And we keep growing. We've got more people jumping on here. All right, I'm going to keep moving. So let me come back to my slides here, All right? So yeah, so the other cool thing I didn't mention about FormWise is if you have, let's say you have a brochure about your business or a document that has all the things about your business, right? If you have some, some kind of file that has information, um, you can upload that data and kind of train the tool to know more about your business. That's one of the coolest things about it is you can actually make it get smarter, right? And, and learn more over time. You can even say, hey, you you gave me the wrong output here. This, this is not really what I do, or this is not something that we have in our service offerings. Um, don't use that when we, you know, ask you to write new things, right? So you can even tell it like bad job, right? Or good job, right? Uh, I constantly say good job to it. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Thank you. You know, and, and I, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to hurt AI's feelings if I if I say that it was bad um, or if I don't tell it, it did a good job. I have an eight year old. I have to constantly like praise. Um, all right. Content at scale. I want to talk about content at scale. And if uh, my friend Julia McCoy ever tunes in or gets to see this video, she'll be very happy. She is a, a dear friend of mine. I'll see her in a, about a month down in Austin when we go to uh, content ha her content hackers uh, event in Austin. She is the president of Content at Scale. Uh, she didn't. She wasn't the founder of the company. They they already existed. She had uh, been a big influencer in the digital marketing and copy and content management space. Uh, she's a, a wizard, and they hired her, which was a tremendously awesome move for Content at Scale. Uh, this. The tool is absolutely amazing. It's really built for search engine rankings, um, optimizing and writing content, long form content, like 3000 words in about six minutes. Um, and it puts, you know, it organizes it and, and formats it and allows you to enable it uh, to play in Google sandbox or play in the search engine sandbox, right? So you have your keyword optimization, but you also have a lot of generative AI, which is like the stuff that Google's looking for. Like, is this really good content or are they just trying to rank higher? Google can tell now. And also it's, um, there's a detection thing. So you can tell if, it, uh, if it's AI written or human written. Uh, so most of the stuff when they write it, it passes all of those human or AI detectors. There will always be some edits you have to make. So don't ever just generate AI stuff and just publish it. That's a foolish move because Sometimes it'll get facts wrong. Sometimes things get wrong. It is getting better and better and better. So let's talk about content at scale uh, for just a few minutes. Let me show you content at scale. And I'm going to do it with a, a company that uh, we actually wrote a bunch of content for. So let's see if I can. I'm going to pull the FormWise one back up to, there we go, and switch over here. So this is content at scale. This is what our dashboard looks like. Uh, content at scale, long-term projects. So we've written, here are some blog posts that we've written for this company. Uh, they're a, a kitchen cabinet remodeling company. And you can see these are the words, 1,600,000, 1, just under 1,000, almost 3,000 words, 1,513. And these are taken like under 10 minutes to write the words. And then all you have to do is take the rest of your time to edit it and make sure it looks good. But I want to show you some of the output and, and how you would, would do it. So if I take this one, give it a second, it's loading, getting the most out of your new kitchen layout. So here we had given it some SEO stuff like um, 
uh, keywords and, and things that we wanted to, um, to use to publish it. And it generates all of the layout with like headings, subheadings. It does these little click to tweet uh, call outs, right? We didn't have to build that. So it, it kind of organizes your format and it uses headlines semantically the way they should be, um, puts these out conclusions. So it's formatting your blog posts as well. So it's not just giving you spitting out just general, all the same font and all the same things and all the same text and sizes. And uh, it's actually giving it to you in an organized layout based on the keywords and the research that you put into it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to build a quick project. So let's go to... Let's go to Journey Builder, and I'm going to write a post. Now, when I go to write a post, I can use I can I can uh, use keyword to to write a post around this particular keyword that I want to rank for. I can say, hey, let's use an existing blog post to write content. I can take a YouTube video and say, let's write a post about this YouTube video or a podcast. Uh, or just another custom audio file, or I could take a document. I could say, take a PDF and let's write about this. So let's do, I'm going to try something I've never done here. This could be risky. Heather's Heather's like cringing right now backstage. Let me go to YouTube real quick in a different tab. So you guys won't see me open this, but I'm going to go to another tab. I'm going to grab one of our JVI mobile marketing, meet the experts uh, podcast episodes, anti-podcast episodes. Um, if you guys don't know what Meet the Experts are, we interview business owners for free on video remotely. You don't even have to leave. We'll, we'll interview you, ask you all about you and your products and your services, how great you are, what makes you special. And then it's about a 25 minute interview. And when we're done, we give it to you absolutely free. So we do all the setup, the interview, the everything totally free, give you the video and you can take that video and edit it and do whatever you want with it and use it in your marketing. We've done over a hundred episodes now. I just recorded episode 101 uh, yesterday. <clears throat> so if, if and meet the experts, you want to learn more about meet the experts, ask me at the end, costs you nothing. Love to have you as a guest. If you have something you want to talk about. Um, all right. So I'm pulling a video up. All right, let's go to meet the experts. Let's go to um, am I wrong? I'm not in the right channel. Hang on a second. Switch account. Sorry, guys. Doing this in real time. All right. Here we go. Let's get one of our episodes. We'll do our 100th episode. That would be a good one. So let's go to, let me pull this up. I'm not sharing this. So if you guys are like, what is, what is he doing? I'm just on a different tab. Uh, want to get the, um, Let's see, go to video analytics, go to videos. <laughs> so I had it pulled up here. Playlists, where is it? All right, I'm gonna do a different one because uh, just, just for, uh, just for expediency's sake, so I'm not wasting everybody's time. Let's grab a view on YouTube. That's what I wanted. So copy. All right. Now let me come back to where you guys are in chat GPT. I mean, content at scale. All right. Now I'm going to do a YouTube video. So I want to create content based on this YouTube video. So I'm going to go next. The YouTube URL is here. And the keyword I want to rank for is um, digital marketing agency celebration. Nobody's searching for this either, by the way. So it's probably not a very good one. Um, let's just do digital marketing agency uh, Greensboro NC. All right. We can pick our word count range, 750 to 1250. The default is 2,000 to 3,000 words, by the way. So it's meaty. It's long form. It's it's a lot. But I'm just going to do, I'll do 750 to 1250. Um, additional context, optional. I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, I can assign this to myself. Uh, tags, journey builder, it's fine. I'll leave that alone. 
scheduled date and time, internal notes. All right, so we're good. We've got we've got all this here, and I'm going to just go ahead and say write post now. This is the very basic. We can also save it to a, a you know a content planner. So if we're like, I want to work on this, let's give it to Heather. She can work on it next week, right? We can we can run our agency, our content stuff around here. But let's go ahead and click write post, and we'll give it a minute. It's going to write it. You'll see it's in the queue. And uh, we'll check back in a few minutes while I show you some other things. So some of the things you can do here, like I mentioned, you, you can do your content planning and a calendar. Keyword research, we can actually do keyword research on particular keywords, like entering a main keyword. So let's say, um, well, I'm going to use Chuck Kirby, right? Chuck is um, custom home portraits. Uh, not go home, custom home portraits. Now Chuck is super talented. If you guys don't know Chuck Kirby, uh, he's in here watching. He is an artist. He draws, he could take a picture of your house and draw it by hand in ink or pencil or uh, he can do watercolor, lots of stuff. Chuck, go ahead and put your link in here. Uh, I think it's chuckkirby.com, but, but go, go ahead and put your link in the chat so everybody can see it and they can all check you out and give you a little bit of a plug here. But custom home portraits. I'm going to do actually better yet. I'm going to do hand drawn custom home portraits. We're going to generate keywords based on that in content at scale. Must not exceed four words. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just do custom home portraits. Generate keywords. Continue. All right. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Here it comes. We're going to start getting some keywords. As I'm going to sip my coffee while it's doing this here. Here we go. All right, home portraits, watercolor. It's got 590 roughly searches per month. A lot of these are very rough estimates based on averages uh, over 12 months. 232 cost per click. So it tells you the cost per click, gives you a whole bunch of ideas. And then you could write articles as these keywords as absolutely Chuck, uh, chuckkirby.com. Um, and then you could say, hey, I want to do uh, articles on each you know, optimized for each of these keywords. So I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or ten. I guess we got forty over forty of them because I can do fifty per page. So it gave me, it gave me hundreds. Right. So you could actually choose all the ones you want, and you can add it to a planner, or you could create a topic cluster, which is like a, a grouping, and then you can create your content based on that. And you could just start creating blog posts like every day very simply, and just start getting that organic traffic that you want, right? And you can optimize for search. There's a lot more you can do. I'm not even scratching the surface of what content at scale can do here. Um, in addition, let's go back to our uh, projects. I did tell you there's an AI detector that can scan, scan it to see if it's AI or human written or if it can pick up that it's AI written. But anyway, so that's, you can do keywords there come back into journey builder and see how we're doing here. This one's still in the queue. Hey, Heather, let me know if I need to do anything else in this. Heather uses this tool way more than me. Um, I think that's, it's just in queue and it'll come out soon, right? Or do I have to do something else to get it to write? Um, put it in the private chat. All right. So that's still looking. The other thing it can do is content intelligence. So you can get information on different topics and content and have, you know, uh, let's do just a quick topic report. So we can add custom home portraits, United States do, um, let's just do Greensboro and see, nope, let's go came out there. Greensboro, North Carolina, there we go, English. So let's create a report on um, uh, like a content uh, intelligence. Let's see what's what's out there here, a report. All right, so that's gonna pending. So obviously this thing is running a lot of processes behind the scenes. Let me see what Heather wrote to me about the thing. Okay, it takes like 10 minutes, Heather said. So we'll, we'll come back to the, maybe we'll come back at the end if you guys remind me or somebody will remind me. We'll come back and we'll see the article that was uh, created um, for, 
uh, journey builder on the YouTube video that I did. And we'll also keep an eye on this one. There's a lot of, can you imagine the processing power that has to go on to create uh, all of this? So usually within 10 minutes, you can have just about anything done that you want. So we will come back to it, but um, I'll come back to content at scale at the end and we'll see what, what it gave us. All right. Perfect. So let me bring this back up here. All right. Hey, Jen, probably the scariest yet most cool tool that I've seen. Um, literally with Hey, Jen, let me let me bring let me bring Hey, Jen up on the screen here. OK, so with Hey, Jen, we upload a video or you would upload a video. You create a video of yourself talking. There's also lots of different avatars that you can you can have um you give it yourself for like a three minute video three to five minute video of you talking right you you go through and you record your video and then it learns your voice it's very close it's very scary it sees your your and the way you your your Emotion, how you how you present, how you talk, how much you use your hands. They even tell you don't use your hands up here all the time. Just keep it keep it low. Don't don't really make wild hand gestures. But it saves it into tens of thousands of like little micro movements and micro clips. And then all you do is you upload the text. So uh, of uh, the just text that you want to say, and it will make you say that text. Right, I'm going to show it. It's kind of crazy. So really, I could take what the content that I'm creating right now and content at scale, this entire video, and then I can basically recite the article that was just written, right? So I'm gonna show you what we've done with this. This is wild. I built the template, the Journey Builder template. This was just me speaking. Let's see if I can pull this up. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe it was under my avatar. There it is, there's my avatar. Okay, so here's my avatar. And I can create a video based on my avatar. I can do it in landscape or portrait. So depending on if I want it on like YouTube or Facebook, I might want landscape. But if I want it on Twitter or Reels or Instagram stories or something like that, that just like that portrait video, I can do portraits. So if I go to, I'll do landscape. Now I can say... Today, I am hosting a webinar on using AI tools in your business. Some of our guests include Tom Polera and Chuck Kirby. Um, Rico asked, um, if I could come speak in Charlotte in May, I happily said yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Whew, I hope this works. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and submit this. Now it always gets my pitch a little bit wrong. You can kind of fine tune your voice too. This is, this is a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just submit this, this quick little script. So it's doing this behind the scenes. It's generating this whole AI video. Since this one's short, it shouldn't take long at all. In the meantime, I'm going to flip back over to content scale and just check on my. Ah, it, it, uh, yeah, it looks like it is. It is optimized on the other. We're going to go back to the article in a little bit, not optimized, but written. So we'll come back to that. Okay. Produce, consume. Okay. Perfect. Submit. All right. 0% ready. It's getting ready here. 5%. All right. Cool. All right, we're gonna let that go. In the meantime, let's flip back over and go to content at scale. Um, 
and we'll take a look at our article. So all these things, you know, they, they got to take some processing in the background. So uh, that one's at 14%. So good. We should be able to do this and then come right back over. So let's go here, share this tab instead. So Grow Fast, Digital Marketing Agency, Greensboro, North Carolina, was built on this YouTube video. We got 1,216 words written that fast. And if I go in, it's not optimized yet. I have to optimize it for search, but it will. So here is what it looks like. So discover how our digital marketing agency, Greensboro, North Carolina, has driven success for 11 years, achieving growth and client satisfaction. This was a video. The video that I uploaded was a video celebrating 11 years in business. It was a year ago in May. I did I did this video. And um, uh, all I all I gave it. All I gave this tool was this video. I didn't even really give it much else. You guys watched what I gave it. So picture this, a digital marketing agency in Greensboro, blah, 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 blah. And then it gives us a table of contents, a journey through time, commitment to customer satisfaction, recognized for excellence, overcoming challenges. So it pulled from the video, from the, 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 the audio in the video, nothing else written. It pulled out an entire blog post. 11 years strong, our Greensboro Digital Marketing Agency celebrates a decade of growth, learning from every high and low. Here's to evolving and thriving in this wild ride. Click to tweet, custom commitment, nestled in Greensboro, blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's given us recognized for excellence, overcoming challenges, record-breaking growth in 2024, focused on business. Like, it just 1,200 words based on a video. I didn't have to write a single thing. Now... You'll see it's optimized at 41 out of 100. So there are some search engine optimization things we can do to improve the score and get it really where we want it. But this is one heck of a start. 1,200 words I didn't have to write based on any video. You can use any video online and write an article about it. You don't even have to create the video. How cool is that? That's pretty wild. All right. Let me know real quick. We got about 15 minutes or so left. Um let me know in the comments, just just put, just put, give a thumbs up or put yes if you are seeing value and getting just, if your head is exploding with ideas of how you can use this in your business. Um, just give me a yes. Make sure I'm doing a good job here. Yes or thumbs up. I'm looking for them. Come on, don't be shy. Please give me yeses or thumbs up. All right. Now, uh, so so that's that's the content of scale. I'm going to go back to Hey Jen. All right. Temetope says, yes. Rico says, yes. All right, Rico, I'm about to blow your mind here. All right. So here we just did this video, right? Um, untitled video, February 21st, 1144 AM. This is the one we just did. I did not sit in front of a camera and record this video. I typed out what I want to say, right? All right. I think everybody can hear that. And I think everybody should be able to hear audio when I press play. Here it is. Okay. Ready? Well, my eyes look kind of dull here. I probably want the start point to be, be a little bit different. I look like I uh, either uh, did, did something wacky here. All right. Let's see what Heather says here. Not showing the right screen. He now I am though. Okay. So here's the video. Everybody's on that video. I am going to, let's see what, what, what it looks like. Today I'm hosting a webinar on using AI tools in your business. Some of our guests include Tom Pallara and Chuck Kirby. Rico asked if I could come speak in Charlotte in May. I happily said yes. Guys, how cool is that? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? All I have to do, and now, because it, it, it knows me and it's got this setting and I can create me, myself in other settings as well, I just have to give it copy and I can say whatever I want. Now, it's not perfect. No, I can notice little things about my eyes and I can notice little gestures and, and the voice, the pitch is, is a little bit higher than I actually speak in. But if I were putting out content and I needed to create like 300 videos in like, you know, an hour for an entire year's worth of video content, all I had to do was just give it scripts, right? I can do that. I can do it. I typically try to tell people if they're like on our email list, I said, hey, this is AI generated. Um, but if somebody doesn't know me and I just want these videos coming out, you do have to give it permission. There's some legal stuff that you have to do when you first sign up. Um, but wild, right? Chuck says incredible. Rico says awesome, right? 
Uh, Eric's having a good time. Tom's having a good time. Timotope's having a good time. I love it. All right. So yeah. And you can give it, you know, you can, I can give it a ton of content. Like I could have had it just keep talking for, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour. Right. So I could have it read an entire blog post. Um, but there are some other things you can do with the paid plans. Um, it, it, it gets, it could get kind of expensive, but you know, you can do a lot with just a free plan, you know, just do like a video a, a, a day or a week. I think you get a certain number of free credits and you don't have to pay. Um, but yeah, you can, you can do some, like if I go to voice, I can, I could, uh, I can tweak the voice. Oh, we can also have it speak in other languages. So I could actually say that same thing in Spanish. I, I haven't tried it yet, but I can do it in other languages. So I could probably say that in, you know, Japanese. I could say it in Spanish, right? So you can work with a global audience that way. And I've seen it in action. I just haven't played with that yet. I just got the paid plan because I was so blown away by the tool. Um, and we've we we built some uh, stuff. We've used this in our email marketing. We put it in an email not that long ago. But imagine if you had an email sequence of, you know, to, to somebody who just joined your list or just wanted more information and you wanted to, to send out a series of these AI videos, you just create it once. Right. And then you have a video going out every time that you never had to sit and record. Um, you just had to feed it your initial template video. The other thing that they just came out with when I'm really excited about playing with is you now have the ability to upload a list of people like variables with other things, all sorts of information. And it will actually like let's say you had a list of 100 people. And you wanted to upload that list into here so that in each video, it said like the first name. Hi, Jim. Hi, Bob. Whatever. So you would you would just put this thing in and it will read from those variables. It's like matching the field. So you would say like in your text, you put hi, first name. First name is connected to your list. Then when you send out the video or create the video, it will it will know who that person is. Like it will put their name in it. So you're, you can now personalize the videos. You can even get real personal. Like, oh, hey, hey, uh, Eric, um, uh, your dog Fluffy is amazing. And um, it was so great to play with her at our dog care, doggy daycare place last week, right? So you could put in like customer name, dog name. Right. And then, you know, you can send it out to 100 different people and each one is going to get a personalized video. You just have to do that once. I mean, it's mind blowing stuff what's available. It's one of my favorite tools for sure. Oh, and there's the link. If you guys want to check out Hey Jen, um, Heather just put the link in there. Uh, go check it out after we're done. All right. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's go. Heather was bummed, by the way, because these all these little pictures and uh, these are all supposed to be animated GIFs and StreamYard didn't animate them. So she's upset. So if, if I send you if anybody wants a link to the slides, I'm happy to send them to you and uh, you can see the animation. Um, but this, like I said, this this is up for posterity. All right. Let's go back to the OG here. Let's go to chat GPT. Chat GPT is kind of where it starts. It's a really great. It's 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 very good for conversational. Um, uh, messaging. Uh, let's flip over to, and let's flip to here. All right. So chat GPT, let's create a new chat. We can tell it to do just about anything we want, you know, write an email, make up a story. Let's just try, try this real easy. So we're going to, uh, here we go. Make up a story about Sharky, a toothbrushing shark superhero. This would be fun for my my child. So let's see if I can do this. Okay. Make up a story about Sharky, a toothbrushing shark superhero. Here we go. So the prompt was make up a five sentence story about Sharky, a toothbrushing shark superhero. Make each sentence a bullet point. In the deep blue sea, Sharky the shark discovered his unique power. He could clean the ocean's pollution with a single swipe of his giant toothbrush. Unlike other sharks, Sharky, and I'm going to read it all, but like, how fast was that? I didn't have to type anything. I clicked it and chat GPT, but guys, this, I, I am on a, a paid plan for $20 a month here, but you can do this in the free plan, right? You can, you can tell it, I can tell it right now. Um, 
tell me a story about um, Tom Polera, the world's greatest travel planner, the twist at the end is that it is really his wife, Anne, who does all the work while Tom schmoozes. Tom's got to be laughing right now at this um, and uh, drinks pina coladas. Okay. All right. Let's see what, what it gives us. Come on, ChatGPT. Don't, don't do me wrong. By the way, Tom and Ann do have a great travel agency. They've helped us with trips and Ann does do a lot of the work, but Tom is the, the kind of the guy who gets out there and does all the marketing. So I'm, I'm kind of telling the, the true story here. Tom, I hope you appreciate me. All right. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at this story it's writing. I, I can't I won't even be able to read all this, but it's writing a whole story. It's making up an entire fictional story. And it's doing exactly what I said. I'll just show you a couple things. Behind the scenes, however, where the true magic happened, it wasn't Tom who was pulling the strings. It was Anne, his wife, a brilliant planner with a meticulous eye for detail and a deep understanding of the cultures and places they sent their clients to. While Tom charmed clients with tales of adventures and sipped pina coladas. Anne was the architect of those adventures, pouring over maps, negotiating, look at blah, blah, blah. Then, then we get down here. It's like um, Tom with a sheepish grin couldn't hide his admiration for Anne's genius, revealing that she was the true mastermind behind their successful enterprise. Like, this is amazing. Tom agrees, right? Tom, Tom said, uh, here we go. I'll put it up there. Thank you. You're right about Anne doing the real work. They are awesome, by the way. They're in Greensboro. Great, great travel planner. So hoping, hoping to plug plug anybody uh, that that's on here and interacting with us today. But how cool is this story, Tom? I'm going to send you this story. Don't let me forget. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll copy it. I'll copy it now and put it in a new Google Doc, and I'll send it to you after this. Um, but how, we did that in like two seconds. Is you can have it right emails. You can have it write video scripts. Like you could say, write me a, a YouTube video script explaining how to um, uh, launch a Facebook ad campaign or how to, um, what the best um, ink to use on Canvas is or something, right? Um, and uh and then it'll say like scene one, actor says this, or the scene, how it's set, where you are, all this. I mean, it's crazy, crazy stuff. All right. So anyway, I'm getting, I'm running behind here. So let me keep, let me keep flying through my slides. I get long winded sometimes. Tom, I will get that to you. Uh, excited. So ChatGPT is the original. You can pretty much tell it what you want. You can, you can build entire personas and, and, um, Personas just meaning like avatars or people in your business, you know, particular job roles or functions. Um, and then you can converse with it. You can say, um, hey, tell me some questions you might ask on an interview uh, for a candidate looking for this position where the roles and responsibilities are this. Right. You could even do that with Formwise. Formwise is the easier way, I think, to, to do that in a more structured layout. Um, but, yeah, ChatGPT is kind of the original here. All right. I'm going to go through these, this stuff pretty fast, implementing it in your business. We kind of talked about it, but but there's some some steps that you do, and I'll make sure everybody has the slides. I'm going to fly through this part because it's kind of the, the dry material that I thought I was going to get to 20 minutes ago, but we got excited. So, But if you want to implement AI into your business, there's some things you want to, you want to really look at. Um, sorry. Uh, you want to, you, you have to, actually, I thought, let me just double check. I think, yeah. Okay. Let me go back. So um, definitely learn what you need in your business, right? And then, of course, you have to get familiar uh, with the processes and learn how to do it, how to write good prompts, right? Um, which is not hard. 
we, we just did some simple ones, right? So, but you you need to have you know you you need to be familiar with with what to use and what tools to use. If you have a big team or just a team, you need to make sure everybody's on the same page. People know how to do it, how you're going to integrate it into your business. Then you need to test it and make sure that you can edit. If you have a team, you're going to need to collaborate on these things and make sure who who's doing what, who's editing, who's writing, who's posting, who's scheduling. Like, what is that approach to collaborating? It, look, if you're just a small one person business owner, you can kind of you know, you're, you're the person doing all this, right? And then um, just continue to make it better and work more for you and then learn to scale that content. Um, so here's some some strategies to overcome. Eric, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. This is recorded. You catch the end of it later. We're almost done anyway, but thanks, Eric, for coming on. Um, so some of the challenges here, um, the biggest thing to do with, when you're thinking about AI is, um, and again, I'll fly through this, uh, but definitely, definitely a lot of people might be like, well, this is going to kill my job or this is going to replace all humans. Right. Let's let's have a dialogue about that. Right. Um, when we work with people and we're using AI and we're helping people implement it in their business, um, we we always start with, you know, kind of just like we, we do come across. Uh, people who are hesitant to change. They're afraid it's going to say something that they don't want or, or, or they're afraid that it's, you know, going to, going to hurt in some way. They, they just don't like change. Um, we make it real easy. I think just in this video, I've shown you some ways to make it easy. Um, you can figure out your, in your goals, where you should put it, where, where it's going to help you the most. Um, it will definitely help you collaborate uh, with other people. Uh, definitely can help overcome, you know, any of the bottlenecks, um, rapidly test new things, new ideas. Uh, and then obviously you can look at your existing system processes and say, hey, can AI help us do this better or more efficiently? And then uh, you can obviously... I create one video in Hey Jen, and now it's like I can create 300 videos of me talking, saying whatever I want. And I have a year's worth of content. So there's the scalability of using AI. I told you I'd fly through that. All right. So making it work for you. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip past this just because we're over on time. I'll make sure everybody has the slides here. Um, but it's kind of what we're looking at. So now here's some ways that we've integrated. AI tools into our software journey builder. Uh, with Formwise, we've actually created forms into journey builder. We've, we've put them on a landing page. Uh, we can use it to capture leads. We can also give people AI tools to use. And then that um, they put it like we capture their name, email and say, Hey, use our Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook post generator. Right. And so it's all branded to us. And then um, we can capture leads by letting people use AI tools, um, content at scale. Obviously, we're writing SEO optimized articles for ourselves and clients. Um, and we can put those articles on the blog built in, on a website and blog built inside of Journey Builder. Uh, again, for us and our clients. With HeyGen, you saw I've used it. We've used it in emails, email marketing campaigns. Uh, if you're on, if you've been on our email list uh, for, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, we sent out a video talking about HeyGen. Might have been a month or two ago now, uh, and it was a video of me talking and not and just by putting in some content. Like I could tell Heather, Heather, can you go create a video of me based on this blog post, and and she can go create the video of me talking. Uh, based on a blog post. And then, gosh, ChatGPT, create, we've created so many text messages, emails, email sequences. We just did a six-month email sequence um, where we had uh, uh, ChatGPT write um, in the, each email in the sequence and give it to us. So there's tons of ways you can use it and then integrate it with the Journey Builder uh, suite of tools. All right. Now, I promised you that you guys would be able to use this by the end of the webinar. So if you're watching this right now, I want you to pull out your phones. I want you to scan this QR code that's on the screen. So open up your camera, hold your camera in photo mode over the QR code and click the link that pops up. Um, it should take you to a form wise 
uh, form that we built. And what it will allow you to do, and maybe in another tab, you can open up your Google business page where all your Google reviews are. If you don't have Google reviews, you can make one up on this form. You can go to the form. I'll show you what the form will look like. Actually, um, let me go. I think I had that form pulled up. So I'll show it to you real quick. Do, 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 do. While you guys are doing that, go ahead. Literally, if you're watching this right now, pull out your phone. I promised you, you, you would be generating something in AI today. I want to make sure that you're doing it. So while I'm pulling this, this up, so you will see, let me see, search review, Google review response generator. So what you'll be able to, what you'll see is your Google review and then the customer's name. So go grab a Google review, right? Type it into the form, the, the review that someone left for you and the person's name. And I would say, try a good one, try a bad one, but go ahead and do that. And then just click submit and give it a second. So if I were to demonstrate this on my end, I would do... Google review. Um, the webinar on AI was amazing. Customer's name, um, let's see, Rico Glover. Okay. So if Rico left me this review, the webinar on AI was amazing, right? And I wanted to figure out what's a good response here. Let's let AI give me a response to that review. Thank you, Rico Glover. We're thrilled to hear that you found the AR webinar amazing. Our team works hard to provide valuable and insightful information to our audience. We hope to see you at our future webinars as well. Perfect. Perfect. All right? I'm going to start over. The AI webinar was a complete and utter waste of my time. Jay really needs to improve his presentation. Gosh, I, I would be so upset if I got this one. And let's just say, let's see who's going to say that about me. Chuck Kirby, you mean rotten person. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Chuck Kirby said this. Total waste of his time. I really need to improve my presentation. Let's see what we would say to Chuck. Actually, if it was somebody that bad, they probably would just do this, like Chuck K or just Chuck or or Anonymous 101, right? Nobody wants to give their name when they do a, a bad review. Sorry, right, so I'm going to click submit. Chuck. Sorry to hear that you didn't find the AR webinar valuable. We appreciate your feedback and we'll work on enhancing Jay's presentation for future webinars. Thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts. That's polite, right? Because it doesn't matter what I would be saying to myself under my breath behind the closed doors, right? This is a, this is a good way to make sure your public image is good. I always say, if you guys get bad reviews in your business, don't take offense, but always respond. Respond in some way that's favorable, apologetic. If you know that it's, you know, just uh, someone's genuine feedback. Sometimes people just leave, they're trolls and they leave junk for junk's sake. And you could probably ignore those. But anyway, so I, I hope you guys all got to use that right now. Chuck, that was funny. Okay, good. Um, but uh, yep, yeah, if, if uh, I hope you guys all get to use it. If you have any problems loading it, um, let me know in the comments. We're wrapping up here. I don't see any questions right now. I am going to go back over to, to this slide. Um, and, uh, but if you have any questions or need me to go back and clarify anything, we are over on time, but I, I have, I have about another 15 minutes before I have to jump out of here. Uh, if you guys have some place to go, great. Chuck, you loved it all. I love that. Thank you. You can go on my Google business page, JVI mobile marketing on Google and let everybody in the world know what you thought of this AI webinar. That would be cool. I'm not making you. Um, uh, and what I'll do is I'll copy that and I'll put it in the review generator and I'll reply with it. So if anybody, if anybody uh, from today goes on to our Google page at JVI Mobile Marketing and leaves a review of this webinar, 
I will respond as AI to all of them just on purpose. Right? Typically, I would just write a response, but I'll, I'll do it. Um, is anybody using AI currently or any, have any feedback or need anything clarified? Go ahead and put it in the comments now. I'm, I'm good for, like I said, 10, 15 minutes. Um, but if you have to leave, go ahead and jump off of here. But I, would, I don't want to leave any questions answered or if somebody was like, hey, I didn't understand this one thing. Uh, now would be the time. If you're good and you don't have questions, um, maybe just um, just put a, a takeaway. Anybody have a key takeaway? Something that you thought like what the coolest tool was or what the coolest um, uh, thing is, or maybe what you're going to go do now and use in your business or try in your business. Um, that would be great. Rico, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you being here. Uh, Tom, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, here, we'll put some comments up on the screen here. So Rico, thank you. Tom, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. This is this is fun. Obviously, if you couldn't tell, I'm quite passionate about what we do, who we help, and just serving. Um, and uh, if you guys want to uh, learn more about AI, or if you want to learn more about Journey Builder, or how you can use this, and really how you can really implement it into your business, uh, we would be happy to set up a, a consultation call with you. That's such a terrible word. I don't like consultation call. It sounds too lawyer-ish or financial planner-ish. Temetope, loved it all. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Whoops, I had the, Heather put it up there. I, I'll leave you alone, Heather. You can keep putting the comments up. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, just, I don't know, we won't call it a consultation. We'll just call it, let's have a chat, right? We'll have a chat. Um, 15, 20 minutes to try to get an idea uh, if there's a way that we can help you. If not, look, we put the links in. If you guys want to go check out these tools, I don't get um, anything major by that. But if you guys buy a, a paid plan or something, I might get a couple bucks. But it, the price is the same, it, whether you use my link or you don't. So I would love it if you're if you're going to check out one of these tools uh, to use our affiliate link. I'm not really good at affiliate marketing. It's not something I do very much, but since I have the links, I may as well share them, uh, especially when I'm doing free uh, free content and free giveaway type of stuff value. Um, we do that. Okay. So Chuck said he's heard of Gemini. Um, yeah. So Gemini is Google's uh, version. It was barred. It's now Gemini. Uh, it does compare to chat GPT. Um, Google is trying to like not use chat GPT or, or not. They're trying to separate themselves and they won't let certain things in chat GPT come up in their search results. Um, they want Gemini to be the, the tool that people uses. I haven't played with it. Um, but, but that's, that's m pretty much what I know about, uh, Gemini. It's, it's the Google answer. Cause Microsoft is, is open AI, which is chat GPT. Um, so again, you have Microsoft versus Google and, look, and then before you know it, Apple will have something and, um, you know, I don't know, uh, Yahoo, uh, they won't do anything, but, but you, you get it. There's, there's going to be lots of different things because there are tools, there are thousands of AI tools out there right now and software and, and things, you know, tricks. I, I have a, I have a document that I can't give away cause it's, it's private, but I have like a hundred marketing prompts we can use for marketing. Um, these are the kinds of things we're in groups. We're really immersed in it. So we can pretty much figure out how to, how to do or find anything we want. And we're building a lot of prompts. So we're actually building tools for our clients to use in their business. Right. So that's kind of some of the stuff we use. And then, of course, we do it all through the through the the journey builder software. But OK, cool, Chuck. Thanks. Um, yeah. So Gemini is uh, is the Google version. All right, guys, I'm going to let everybody I don't see a whole lot of other questions uh, coming in. I'm going to let everybody get the rest of their day back. I do uh, definitely want to say thanks for joining. All right. And uh, I appreciate all of you for being on here. Uh, I'm going to try to do more of these webinars. If you guys have an idea or a topic you want to learn more about, let me know. Chances are I can just find some stuff that I wrote about it already and give you a customized video. Um, and you'll know that I did it in HeyGen and I didn't sit and create the video and take all that time. I can do it very, very quickly. So if there's anything you want to learn about, uh, let me know and we'll see if we can respond with AI tools. 
Um, and if you guys want to learn more about Journey Builder and how that can help your business, we're getting ready to come out with a really lower, lower cost, lower priced option, uh, entry level option. If you don't have a lot of contacts that you need to upload in, um, we're getting ready to come out with that. So uh, keep in touch with everybody. Thank you for following us, uh, following along. And uh, I hope you all have a uh, absolutely. All right. I'm back in back in big screen. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you again for being on here and we will see you soon. Take care, everybody.